hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate advanced tutorial now you are watching final part of the sub series thread pool and task in this video we will create the queue task and we will learn how queue user work item api of the thread pool will help us to add the queue task also we will see how multiple task run in parallel and generate the random number and display that in the console output window so in the first video we talked about what's thread pool and task queue in the next video we talked about scheduling the task then we talked about the example and we created the random gen class and we saw how to generate the random numbers now we will turn this random gen into a, a scheduled task or we will make this as a work item or the task that can be added to the thread pool queue so it requires changing the function signature so for example to add a task to the thread pool task queue we need to have a specific signature for the method and that signature is defined by the wait callback delegate so wait callback is a delegate which represents a method with the below signature so the signature if you see the method should not return anything so our random gen returns nothing it's a void method then method name method name is random gen so that also qualifies but our random gen method doesn't take any parameter that means we need to change our random gen method with the signature like uh, it should take uh, object as a parameter here method is the task which uh, we will run in a separate thread by pull of threads or thread pool we can say so method method means we are going to convert our random gen method um, as a um, wait callback method so the method is the task which will run in a separate thread by the thread pool threads so the api is thread pool and if you see we are directly calling the uh, method so it's a static one q user work item so the q user work item is the um, api and using this api you can create a task and add it to the thread pool so thread pool will take care of executing the added task in a separate thread a free thread in the thread pool picks one of the task added to the queue via queue user work item and executes it so a free thread means a thread pool will maintain a list of thread or collection of thread pre created thread we already talked about that in the very first video so the thread pool will pick the task and assign a thread in the thread pool to execute that task and the task once it is finished it releases the thread and the thread will go back to the thread pool and sits there as a free thread waiting for serve any incoming task so the first param passed to the queue user work item is the task itself or the task method task method means we can simply pass the wait call delegate i mean wait call back delegate to the queue user work item so that's the first parameter we will pass to this uh, api the second one is the parameter for the task so 
here the task itself receiving the parameter right because the method will run in a separate thread and you are invoking that from a different thread right from t1 you will invoke the q user work item and the task will run in a separate thread so if you want to supply some uh, parameter or argument to the task then you have to cook that before submitting the task to the queue and that parameter you can pass as a second param to the queue user work item same this is the delegate method right wait callback so wait callback so it expects a method let's say the method is a task input or you can even call it as a state it should return void and the task will run in a separate thread so let's say a thread pool will allocate a thread t1 and t1 will execute this task so at some other thread say for example ui thread or if it is a console window let's say ours is a public static void main right we can call it as a main thread from main thread you will be creating a task and you are submitting that to the queue user work item and we know that a task will expect or if a task depends on some of the input then you can prepare that input and pass that as a second parameter so queue user work item let's say this is the api the queue user work item api takes the method signature callback then any input parameter if you want to pass that you can pass it as a second parameter to and that same will come here as a parameter so that you can use that inside if any were running the task all right that's all required here now we already have this method and if you see what is changed we added object obj so that this can be given to the wait callback random gen r a n d obj and obj we are converting it as a random gen and if you see here we are not constructing the object the object is coming here as a parameter previously we constructed a random gen if you remember random gen that contains three member one is count and the count of random number generation then other one is what's the maximum value you want to generate then an id given to the task right so this we will form at a main thread itself then we will pass it here to this method and obj from obj we will pass the random gen and we are calling that as a rand here then in the static main so there are other piece of code and there is no change on that here if you see in the main method instead of simply calling the gen random previously we did like that now what we are doing we are creating the random number generation here or the random number object after that we are running a loop for 10 times so we are creating instance of our class random gen rand dot next 20 first parameter so how many time we want to generate the random number that itself we are making use of the random function so this will pass a value between 0 to 20 so 
that many time a random number needs to be generated then the second parameter is controlled that means generated random number should fall between 0 to 100 and this is the task id since we are running the loop from 0 to 10 there will be we are naming the task as task 1 to 10 that means here we are going to create 10 task the task is generating the random number and printing that in the console window how many number we want to generate that uh, itself is decided by the random number so how many number we want to generate depends on uh, uh, whatever this next gives so if it gives 12 we want to generate 12 number when the loop runs for a second time if it gives 5 then we want to generate 5 random number all other stuffs are uh, fixed this is a task id so once the random gen uh, class instance is created here we make use of wait callback method new wait callback this is a delegate and if you see we are generally we are giving the signature of our function get random so sorry gen random gen random here we are passing a so our callback function is ready that means since gen random falls under the wait callback signature we are giving that to the wait callback then using the thread pool here we are using the thread pool and the api q user work item we pass our q task that means we are passing a here and we are telling that this needs to be or the gen random needs to be executed in a separate thread after that we are passing after that we are passing our class instance rand gen to the q user work item so this rand gen will come here as a parameter and we are casting that back to the random gen and we can retrieve the information that means uh, how many number we want to generate what is the maximum random number or the range of number that needs to be generated as part of random and what is the task id so all the stuff we are generating and since the loop runs for 10 times we will be creating a 10 task and we are adding it to the thread pool dot q user work item so the q will contain 10 task since we are running it for 10 time and each task is represented by this gen random that means there will be 10 thread which will execute our gen random method and all these threads are alerted by the thread pool all right and this is our main thread right so main thread we are giving a sleep of 10 seconds just for experiment purpose that's all here now we will go to the demo and see how this executes all right here is our first change we need to create object obj then here we are generating the random number right we need to change this as so here we are making use of obj casting that and we got our random gen previously uh, we created that uh, we created this uh, random gen by passing all the parameter here inside the function itself now since it runs in a separate thread uh, the main thread will create this uh, random gen that means here we need to allocate this uh, gen random as a task so as already explained in the powerpoint slide if you see we create a random class then we create uh, instance of our random gen and we create 10 instance of our random gen and we create a, a queue task for 10 times that means 
there will be 10 tasks which performs this same operation right wait call back we pass gen random and how many time we want to generate the random number is decided by this random function itself so it will be varying that's all here our thread will main thread will sleep for 10 seconds so since the thread pool will allocate a thread this gen random will be executed by a separate thread all right now we will build this uh, solution and from the output we can execute it so now we will execute it and if you see so 10 second we are waiting for the main thread to execute i mean the main thread to exit and if you see here starting task 6 task 7 and yeah this is a perfect place and here you can see task 6 7 is started and task 6 already generated the number and task 2 also started so all are done by the thread pool so whenever you are seeing starting task 6 that means a thread pool allocated a thread and assigned the task so likewise the green number if you see here we are ending the task 2 that means task 2 was started here and if you take this highlighted one you can see how the tasks are executing in parallel all tasks are fighting for this console window and when their turn comes they print their generated random number if you see here task 10 printed 45 7 printed 88 task 8 printed 83 3 1 7 4 10 here it is repeating right so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 task printing their random number here in the console window so that means the thread pool is running all these tasks in parallel and towards the end if you see the fighting goes less why because there are many tasks which ended here so task 7 ended 1 ended 3 8 all these tasks are ended so the fight is less here and in between if you see all tasks are busy all are printing into the console window so this random number generation if you see all are coming it as 19 because uh, uh, we are providing the same seed by changing the random number generation, I mean the random number generation seed, you may get a different uh, uh, random number on each uh, on each uh, task. That's that's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.